Karibu tena kwenye Men 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 the podcast. Beautiful Saturday here. Siku ambayo tuna record of course wote sikiliza sijui lini lakini it's a beautiful it's a beautiful Saturday. Drinking water it's healthy. Kila mtu inabidi anywe maji. Usiniulize kwa nini lakini yeah, some things are better left unsaid. Maggie, how are you? I'm great. Oh, why are you, are you laughing at me or you're laughing with me? Yeah, I, I was thinking about like, hmm, we should have a water sponsor. <laughs> 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 yeah, that would, uh, <laughs> yeah, that would, I mean, I love how your mind works with the excuse you make out to be a shares I. So guys, basically what Nadia has said, come on us how much. I want to be a share of maji. Na unataka watu ambao wanaweza kukusaidia kuipush through ili usikilize na ueleweke. We are your people. Yeah, you know if we promote mental health or being in water is a big part of life. So. <laughs> proper pitch, Nadia. Proper, proper, proper pitch. So yeah, that's Nadia, our own resident psychologist. I've been like one week in, week out. When you made me the podcast. My name is Michael Baruti. Amazing, amazing, amazing day. And we are so glad to come to Kwa We are thankful for life. Maisha ni mazuri. And we are still being grateful for the, the little things about what you tunapata na vile vile vita boat naona tunakutana navyo we are not happy with na sema such is life life you know you move on maisha yanaendelea so yeah kama unataka kutupata kumbuka siku zote ni at made the podcast on twitter na at made the podcast on instagram tuko facebook vile vile lakini kama unataka kutusikiliza we are everywhere ambapo unaweza kusikiliza podcast spotify audio bar google podcast um apple podcast you know popote pale popo unajua unaweza kusikiliza uh, podcast yako basi sisi tupo na kama ninavyosema kila siku please 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 spread the word it's a free gospel you don't even pay for it lakini we hope conversation about na kwa nae every day inasaidia ku kukubadilisha mitazamo na vile vile kuboresha maisha ya baadhi ya wanaume actually we love the feedback that we are getting and we always say here as long as imeenda na mtu mmoja kasikiliza na ika, ikamfanya awe bora zaidi alivyokuwa kabla hajasikiliza that's a win for us so we appreciate each and every one of you ambao unachukua muda wake kusikiliza main 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 the podcast so yeah kama unataka kuhusiana na Nadia you can always uh, check out kwenye @mindmatterstz on Instagram ni @mindmatterstz on Twitter there's a link kwenye bio yake ambayo moja kwa moja itakupeleka kwenye kwenye website yake uweze kuhusiana na bwana mjuni yes yes karibu sana kaka Sana 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 bwana Mike. Yes. Um huyu unamsikia bwana anaitwa bwana Mjuni Junwa. 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 Yes. Um uh you need to scale you need to come away to kabisa kwa haya kweli kweli. Kwa hiyo bwana Mjuni yeye ni na na ni sahihishe kama niko sahihi. Okay. Ni daktari bingwa wa magonjwa ya uzazi vizazi na wajawazito ujauzito ujauzito na ujauzito yes najua neno linaweza likawa gumu lakini tukisema ni gynecologist kila mtu ataelewa kila mtu anaelewa na nimependa sana reasoning iliyotoa ya kusema kwamba tuwe careful na lugha tunayotumia kwa sababu mara nyingi tu tukianza kusema gynecologist cha kwanza mtu anahisi kwamba ah hiyo ni magonjwa ya daktari tu ambao anatibu wagonjwa wa kike tu lakini si hivyo hivyo hapana gynecologist pia wanatibu wanaume na wanaume tunawatibu eh kwa maswala yanayohusika na uzazi sana sana na swali so, langu ni kwamba wanaume wanakuja wengi. Um, nafikiri kwenye culture yetu bado kuna changamoto kidogo. Um, ma- matatizo yanayohusiana na uzazi bado yanaonekana ni wakina wanawake zaidi. Mm. Lakini polepole pole tuna encourage a client so wetu wakija kwa sababu mama akija na tatizo au mwanamke akija na tatizo waga tuna encourage kwamba lazima wote waje kwa ajili ya thorough check ups. Kwa hiyo polepole pole wengine wana open up wanakuja. Kwa hiyo bado kuna hiyo kwa nini kama stigma za nikasema kuna kizuizi kwa wanaume lakini yeah, na, yeah. Na, na, yeah. na hata na hata mimi cha, mara ya kwanza wakati tunakuja kuzungumza ni kusema tunazungumza na gynecologist cha kwanza kilichoingia kichwani ni kwamba takuwa tu ni mgonjwa mambo ya wanawake i had na elimu yangu yote si kubwa sana lakini nayo ni kutosha i'd like to think yeah. sikuwahi kufikiria kwamba hii hapa ni pia ambayo ina ina involve na wanaume kwa mwanaume anaweza kabisa kwenda kumuona gynecologist sana kabisa na tuna encourage sana waje mm. kwa sababu issue ya kufuatilia uh, uh, mambo ya uzazi it should be for couple not for only one partner Yeah. Yes, for the encouragement to come. Yeah. Tuli, tulifanyaga mazungumzo na daktari mmoja ambaye alikuwa ni nadhani urologist kama unakumbuka yeah. Nadia. 
Na we had the same we had the same conversation kusiana hilo sawa na perceptions zime wanaume. Na it was funny for him alisema kwamba mara nyingi sana wanaume wanafikiria kwamba labda you after urologist here ni daktari ambaye ana deal zaidi na mambo ya wanawake. Na then is the perception to you know ya kiume kwamba hatuwezi kwenda kuona ba daktari tunapokumbwa sana baadhi ya matatizo au ndio stigma ile kwamba izungumzia. Yeah bado stigma ipo ingaje kwa uro, urologist I think they don't encounter that problem uh, as we do kwa sababu um issues za uh, masuala ya maki urologist yanohusika na mfumo wa wa mkojo kama sijaposema. Yes, yeah. Kwa hiyo of course that it, it cuts across both uh, gender. Yeah. Kwa hiyo nafikiri wenyewe hawapati tatizo sana as opposed to we as, as opposed to the gynecologist. Kabisa bado kuna hiyo tatizo. Kwa sababu we encourage men to be involved kwa sababu uh, issue ya uzazi au ujauzito is just beyond the physical hata mental of course na Nadia Nadia right Nadia yes in a, in, 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 they need support from the partner kwa hiyo wakiwa pote pamoja it really works really miracles mm. yeah kwa hiyo ni kwenye check up ya uzazi or even during pregnancy when they are always together mm. it really it is very helpful for us Amazing. Thank you. We learn uh, we learn new things every day. So guys, fellas out there, wana msiogope. Yeah, msiogope kabisa, msiogope kabisa, msiogope kabisa. So Dr. Mujuni. Yes, yes. Uh you know prefer to Dr. Mujuni or just to Mujuni. Whichever you are comfortable, Whichever, I'm yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah. So um leo we're going to have a very interesting conversation. Uh I we we've, we've had difficult conversations in here mara nyingi sana. Lakini for me personally, this is the new one. Okay. Personally, kabisa kabisa. Sisi ndio we have gone here. So we've been we've been we've had more than 50 to we are near well, to of after episode number 60 yuko. And if there's one thing I've learned about doing this I've learned about being in this room that could record week in week out is Michael come on John Snow, you know nothing. <laughs> Seriously kabisa. I have I've come to tell you to come Michael you know nothing. Yeah. Watu wana mitazamo tofauti watu wana perceptions tofauti na watu wana maamuzi tofauti na mengine yanakwenda against culture na norms ambazo tume 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 tumekuzwa nazo na tumefundishwa nazo so today we're going to have one of those conversations um we were linked up na wewe na my friend in common bwana Ben Ben Ode Ben to the cut of an podcast up amazing guy man so Ben sent me a text about the same text I shared nikashare na Nadia pia about decision yako uliyoifanya ya kwamba hutaki sijui nisemwe hutaki and and I'm trying and I'm I'm trying to tell you yeah, here yeah say it hey, like I'm, I'm, I'm really really trying to tell you yeah? here <laughs> and kwamba umeamua sema mm mm pole ile yes umeamua wawili eh as a team as a team I'm learning is a, it's a, it's a, it's a difficult process. So walk with me slowly here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Ungeza kusema hilo, ungeza kusema hilo toka mwanzo ungenisaidia sana. Niache kukuzunguka kwenye hili. Mmeamua kuwa na maisha bila watoto. Yes. Watoto wa kuzaa maybe tuseme si to make it to the children. We 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 will get there. Yeah. Okay. Maybe mimi sema maisha bila watoto maybe tuiachia. Tuiachie. Mmeamua mmeamua kuwa na maisha bila watoto. So ile langu la kwanza kabisa. Okay. Mmekuwa kwenye a uh, mahusiano na maisha ndoa kwa muda gani sasa So um this November we'll be clocking 5 years. Five years. Yes. So ni kama 4 and uh, what? Uh, But November is about 3 months. 3 months. Oh, yeah. So to say let's get to 5. Yes. Mungu yes. atasaidia yeah. traffic. <laughs> so how did you get to that decision? Like kitu gani kilikuja kichoni kwako au wakati naongea na line hapa akasema kwa sababu jamani gani ecology ameona bibi that's the first thing that you say ameona bibi mpaka nikio so how did you get to that point kitu gani kilikuja kichoni kwako na kwa nini umefanya maamuzi hayo na 
na vile vile i don't know kama naenda mbele sana okay who initiated that conversation in the house i know <laughs> that question was going to come yeah yeah so um basically it was very gradual and spontaneous because initially that wasn't our line of thinking kwa hiyo um when we got married we had that prior, uh, priorities ndo nasema okay uh, my wife had to go to school and stuff kwa hiyo she's also a doctor she's a physician so she had to do her masters three years ni kwa nimesha graduate so okay the plan was what you just go to school we think for now this is this is priority so that maybe family will come later so that was the plan and everything went on well kwa hiyo sasa siku zikawa zinaenda somehow I, I i don't remember how it, how it all started with me but i'm this guy if you talk to ben of course that's why maybe also click with ben i i like to go beyond the what i i like to go and and um assess or evaluate the why of whatever i'm about to do kiano cha kufanya i just want to go just beyond the surface and i prefer to go further kwamba kwa nini kwa sorry pop just one time kwamba kwa nini tunataka kuwa na watoto why so uki, when every time you venture into why unabidi uanze kujiuliza very profound questions sasa hapo slowly ni nilikuwa naanza ku to dig to dive deeper and deeper nikaanza ku kuona there are some things are not really clear with me ngona oh, maybe let me sit on this kwa hiyo ni nianza tu just few questions questions gradually it's just silent not even sharing with my wife pole pole then the more i thought the more i thought i think this is what i'm going to discuss today ah ngasema wait a minute yeah so ikuwa ianza kama casual just curiosity to why why and uh, it's because my other philosophy is i don't want to do things because everyone is doing them i need to have real i need to have the reason my own proper reason why i want to do things not only in this matter in all matters kwa hiyo yeah that, that's how it all started but nikijaribu kufikiria for a lot of well for mm-hmm. I, i i think kuna there are a lot of things about nadia pia anaweza kasi this is something ambacho mara nyingi tufanya kwenye podcast nadia waga anajaribu mm. uh, kukielezea mara nyingi sana kwa ba, one of the things ambavyo wanaume tunapenda mm. na again ni kama tu ni kabla tumekuwa preconditioned au kwa sababu mm. unconsciously kwa hivyo lakini moja kati ya vitu ambavyo wanaume tunapenda ni kuendeleza uh, uh, vizazi mm-hmm. na ukoo na vitu kama hivyo mm-hmm. na mara nyingi hata kwenye kuchagua partner unajaribu kuangalia yupi ambaye sio tu anaweza kuwa sio tu anaweza kuwa life partner mm-hmm. ya kwamba anaweza kuna support lakini pia je anaweza kanaletea offsprings anaweza kanaletea watoto ambao mm. mimi nataka unaona mm. na vivyo tukirudi kwenye nini biblia ilitwambia <laughs> Mungu alisema zaidi muongezeke mkaingia yeah. dunia mm. so nikijaribu kuangalia all of those reasons mm. yeah kwa wanaume tulizona again inawezekana tumekuwa condition hivyo na maybe wengi hatukwenda ile beyond mm. why for you do you have specific reason about your mock sema kwamba i am gonna go against this yeah <laughs> so i'm not the only child i'm the first born okay. lakini like tuko we are three siblings me my sister and our youngest brother of course our youngest here michelle and i has two wonderful kids so um we have had a really wonderful family i i, I thank god for that we are united baba mama na sisi watatu in extended family members in your africa tena yeah we 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 we, we fared well kabisa naweza nikasema kwa kwa standard ya we are we were not always happy of course but we had a healthy family i yeah. say yeah so it's i don't think if there is anything to do with my past that triggered this i know psychologist and past has a lot to do with our decisions so we had a very healthy family so as i said i preconditioning is always there and much of i think most of us we do things because okay they are there most of the times we um we is is easy is easier to just go with the flow it's always easy yeah, so true. but i don't know me growing up as i told you i always want to go just a little bit one step just not even two sometimes just why should i do this i mean this why is the thing so 
I've always admired kids. If you ask Ben, people who know me, mm. my friends, I'm really, I, when you see me with kids, you're like, oh my gosh, how many kids do you have? Like, yeah. I, I enjoy their company and uh, yeah, inside me also, I'm kind of, this kid in me that always wants to, to show off. So I've, I've had a wonderful past and uh, the, the decision that led me to, the process that led me to this decision it was well thought of. I think this is what I would love to share. Mm-hmm. You know, when you're reasoning for why, you're asking yourself for why, you have questions. So the question was, why do I want to have kids? That means, why do I want to be a parent? So before I responded, I didn't think even about my wife, Kwanza. Yes. I need to know what is parenting. What is parenting? It's just kuzaa watoto ukawaleta duniani? Is it only that to say no? There is bringing the kids? Like in also raising them to, to become some wonderful human yeah, human beings. Yeah, human beings. Of course, this is how, how I put it. Remember, as, as parents, we bring human beings. But we parents, we need to raise them to become health people. It's like, I don't know if this is the best analogy. I don't know. If it's not, we cut this off. So it's like a computer. When you buy a computer, it's probably have few few uh, applications. You need to, okay, let's, let's use a phone. Because the phone is high use. So you can, you, you, depending on your usage, what you want to use it for, you can add. Yeah. Other applications, other applications install yeah. and install and install. So the yeah. parent basically does that because when when you, you when you get a child, it, it, the child is nothing. A few things maybe that God has instilled in them. But I believe a parent and a kazi yaku mold uyu human being yeah. to become a person now with personality, all those attributes, to become a health human for the benefit of the society and stuff like that. Kokuna kuna process from becoming a human being to becoming to becoming a health person. Yeah. I keep using the word health. Yeah. So Ganza Kona ah this is a good, okay it's a, it's, a, it's a blessing but it has a lot of responsibility as well. Yeah, true. So catch Ngasema okay what does it take? Ngasema this is always it's almost like a co-creation. Like God is giving somebody you're going to you help God to create this human being into somebody that I am today. Because what, 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 what much of what I am today, still never a lot of things my parents had to the society, so yeah. many yes, yeah, environment. Yeah, first, yes, yes. yes. So yeah. then eventually, what people know about Dr. Mujuni is really is it has been a journey. So I was like, wow, this is actually divine responsibility. So it is not as easy as I thought. Oh, I have kids for fun. That is it. I'm like, okay. I'm still broad. I think. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, no, no, no. I get it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, so I'm thinking. So and I get it. Because sana to na. I don't think a lot of us go through that thinking process when we become parents. I really, really don't think we do. I think for a lot of us, it's like yes, you're married. You're expected to have kids. So. Go procreate or mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we don't really think about the other stuff. Am I good enough or am I, am I equipped? that's the right word to say? Am I equipped enough to do I want this? this that too. Okay, I think that do I was am I yeah, equipped? You can you, you can to. be equipped, yeah, yeah that's what I but do I really want this? You know, so um, I like what Nadia said because. To me, the more I thought about it, I was like, parenting is actually a calling. It's not just uh, a, a responsibility you're given or a job. It's, it, has, it has to be. It's a, a, a job. <laughs> oh, no, that is preempting everything I was going to say. Yeah. Like, <laughs> exactly. I was like, no, parenting, it has to be a calling. Like, you just imagine, I'm, I'm given this human, human being. I have to transform this into a health, responsible person. I'm like this is uh, it's like I'm 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 you you are you are you are you are you're designing this person. I, I'm actually a designer. A parent is like a designer because you can agree with me you guys that you 
a parent has almost over 70 percent a, a chances of making this human being to become whatever they want yeah like for me being a doctor if i may say my dad played a big role big big role because he's a scientist so he from my early um childhood he would expose me to this science thing scientific i mean Slowly, Nikakuta na develop your nini, your passion. Probably it was there, I, I, I don't know, but I developed it. Then when I went to school, of course, my the friends I met, they had the same passion. So it was, I was, it, I was channeled slowly and gradually into becoming what I am. That's one aspect of just my career. We're not talking about personality and stuff. So all other things. So it is not as... It's, it's a full-time job, let me say that. It, it is. To me, I was like, this is a calling. And if, if it is a calling, if God is is gifting me, because, you know, I'm a gynecologist, I know how hard sometimes it is. If God is gifting me with this, and we, as parents, eventually they're going to be independent. Yes. Yes. They're in a training uh, hub. It's like a this. training hub. Exactly, like a this. Okay. Yes. What it means is like... Mentoring them and coaching them is it is it has to be a full time job. Okay, what they are going to become or what they have to become. You know, eventually every parent they have to train them to become health and productive and fruitful people in the society. For example, look, I'm here. My parents are not even in Tanzania, so I'm interacting with people. Probably they are benefiting from what they did, or they are not benefiting from the things probably they didn't do. So whatever I am today. The fruits, Nadia, ni Mike, my colleagues at work, at church, Ambawana, they, they consume. Yeah. Lakini, who did this? Large part is uh, my parents. Lakini, hata siko na wapu. Kwa wakona, ni train. So, it's like a training hub yeah. before you're released into yeah. the society. Yeah. Kwa, when I thought of it, I was like, you know, it's just not bringing a kid. It is a full-time job. So, it has to be a calling. Kwa yo, kila, kila stage ni kana pata the follow-up question. So is parenting your calling? That's what she said. You, you want it? You want it. Is it your calling? Do you feel like I'm ready to sacrifice? Because what is the calling? We want to break it down. It, it, it makes sense. Your calling is your purpose for life. Like for me, being a doctor is my calling. Like I feel it is what I'm created for. And uh, it is what consumes much of my life. My life is if, if part of me. Not part, large part of me is, goes there. Yeah. Because it is my calling, so it's my purpose. And what happens, the purpose determines your priority. Where your purpose is, your priority will be there. And your priorities will determine your plans. So, Nikasa Kona I pattern, Nikasa okay, this is just beyond just having a kid. So, is this my, my, my calling? So, it took me time to to internalize that. If you call it, parenting is... Parenting and then my career. I realized career is my calling. And I didn't have, I didn't have no doubt. That is what you live for. That's what I live for. That's my purpose. So my priorities, my thinking, my life. Mm. They will focus. My focus has to be there. So... Yes. I, I want to ask Nadia because uh, well, she's she's our mental health expert. She's a therapist yes. now. Um, and I'm putting an art to know me a bit. Come here. Has it ever occurred to you? And this is the question I'm going to initial come with you, Nadia. Either I don't know. Either we put now. How you have an experience? How your knowledge in terms of? Do you feel come back? Wapo na ume mbao na fikiria kama mujuni, lakini kutokana na society pressure, they cannot act kama ya mkwa na balls za kwa waka. Babu, it takes a lot of balls to yeah. kufanyo ni chopani. <laughs> Most definitely. Na nitaruni kwenye kuzungumza mapokewa ya jami kwenye mawabuzi yako. Lakini yeah. nani, do you think kuna na ume mbao na cheseka na sawa zima na kwa mba, I don't think I'm good enough to be a parent, au I'm not equipped enough, not good enough, let me use, I'm not equipped enough na maybe this is not what I want, lakini... So is kuzungumza hivyo mbele za watu. Do you, do you think kwamba na najebu kuzungumza katika tent context ya Tanzania ambapo tunaishi mm. which is a very uh, closed community. Yeah. You know the expectations of what over ni hizo. Do you think kuna no member he pressure pain our in our partner na 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 wana struggle na? Um majority of people yeah, watu wengi hawakai na kufikiria So the process Mujuni um, went through. You actually sat down and kuangalia. Mm-hmm. Ichi ni kitu ambacho jeni inataka. 
ninataka hii responsibility ninataka haya majukumu ninataka kuchukua hii path wengi wetu hatu wengi hawachukui hiyo hiyo hatua so it's rare that you find someone in either muimbili pale hospitali as you're clocking them au hata in my my office here talking about this dilemma they are having but you get to see that dilemma in how they now connect with the child interact yeah. during that pregnancy any involvement yao kwenye hiyo process nzima hiyo inakupa if you like ukiangalia tabia na, na actions na ukamo observe tu mtu unaweza ukajua okay hichi ni kitu ambacho mtu anakifurahia anakipendelea anakitaka like kutoka moyoni mwake anakitaka there's a calling there's a drive au ni basi tu kwa sababu ndo jamii inasema uki, ukioa unaza like it's like that next step uh, the, there's that but also there's the whole ukifika miaka fulani uwe na na, na na mtoto so there's a lot of external noise ambayo inatu inapeleka watu to act just unconsciously kwamba it's just okay yeah. we're just moving through these motions um na then kufanya maamuzi ya kuwa kutaka kuwa mzazi au ukuto kutaka kuwa na watoto sorry so mzazi but kutaka kuwa na watoto au ukuto kutaka kuwa na watoto is is a very sophisticated i think decision like you really need to be an introspective person uwe una hiyo tabia ya ku reflect kwa sababu ni sio sio kitu cha kila siku unaweza ukakaa ukaanza ukafikiria ni mtu ambaye umesha uko na una hiyo tabia ya ku reflect ku analyze mwenyewe kitu mambo unayopitia your decisions choices zako kwenye maisha to be able to get to that because it's not just a sio so kitu cha kiraisi tu mtu anakaa ana, anaamua lakini ukiangalia watu connectedness na familia zao na say familia i mean watoto waliowaleta duniani au mke akiwa mjamzito process hiyo inaweza ikakwambia je huyu mtu kweli angepewa choice angepewa kaa kwa hiyo mfikiria angeweza kweli ku arrive kwenye hiyo decision kuleta hiyo binadamu yeah. you that that's that's where the, the issue is it's not so many people actually think through na ndo maana wasazi wengi you know, i like dr mjuni ubosema you coach parenting is coaching yeah, it is. yeah. You, you, literally so tu unazaa una unaleta chakula jua meza anavaa nguo shule anaenda no mm-hmm. coaching you know what is coaching it's an active process yes. uko pale involved pale. Yeah. you are involved step by step kumjenga huyu mm-hmm. mtu <coughs> How many parents do that? How many wanaopata sasa washapata ujauzito wanafikiria hiyo engo okay. Sijaenda shule kusomeshwa jinsi ya kuwa mzazi. Vitu gani nabidi nifanye kujiandaa. Mm-hmm. Mostly wataangalia tu okay so what mahitaji? Anataka kwenda clinic hospitali, tunalipa plani. <laughs> okay, vitu yeah, yeah. <laughs> tunahitaji hii yeah. na vile. Lakini hawaangalii the actual important yeah. aspect. Yeah, yeah. yeah, mimi ninaweza kuwa coach wa huyu mtu. Na je, nafanyaje kujiandaa? You know, but once you have that actual thorough process ya decision making mm-hmm. na ukafanya maamuzi informed decision making. Oh my gosh. Then yes. unajua kama okay, hapa nitaji kufanya kwa mbili tatu. That was my next point. Get <laughs> <laughs> You know, so ukiangalia tukipiga survey, yeah. utakuta watu wengi waki actually wakiwekwa chini kwenye hot seat hebu yeah. fikiria. Mm-hmm. I'm sure wanaweza wakabadilisha mawazo timeline ya kupata huo mtoto inaweza kama yes. ilika yes. timeline timeline you know good. kuna vitu vinaweza sasa vika, vika yani vile viungo vile vikaanza ku click yes. vikakaa sawa sawa lakini wengi wetu hatupiti hii process which is a shame yeah, yeah. Yeah. it's also mad yet to <laughs> that's just, just very bad and, and before before I come back to you and I'm, and I'm asking this ili tu tu fair kidogo kwa kwa community yetu you have to you have to understand kwamba there is just so much pressure that comes and i was speaking from mm. being Mm. either kwa mwanaume na kwa mwanaume kwenye ndoa there's so much pressure that comes with it kwa sababu and don't talk about the union and leave it na hivi sawa kwa sababu baada ya ndoa tu muda mchacho anakuuza vipi bwana ndio ndio imelipa na kuna wengine zawadi za harusi unazopewa ni mapamphlet ya uzazi wa mpango lakini wakati inawezekana wewe kufikiri kabisa kuwa mzazi lakini kwenye harusi zawadi za kupewa perfect yo sasa wa mpango kwamba this is what to do sijina nini na nini na mistari ya biblia inavyokuelezea some of the things about who is atakuongea hapa but those are things about on the so before i get to the part ya yeah, 
hii society hii pressure ya community na jamii yetu yeah. i want to talk about the part ambayo you brought this conversation na partner wako okay. kwamba eh na yeye alikuwa anafikiria kama wewe au wewe ndio ulianza kusema mama hebu let's talk kuhusiana moja mbili tatu kwa sababu mm. hey you love it it's a very difficult conversation yeah, kuianzisha nyumbani yeah That, that's very right mike um it, the, the good thing is this started after we had uh, been together for like for for few years this mm-hmm. similar um, yeah, come back maybe this was like two years ago when he in you know, the answer conversation like in the casual casual mm-hmm. so bad was myself was still i was still had uh, meeting this so many things come pressure was on guy yo is almost here really we how how are they going to to uh, to, to see me i mean he, when i thought of course of my parents before i thought of other people kwa hiyo hiyo conversation was as well na ile kabila lao nalo toke are you kidding me yes yani don't talk you me oh my gosh i mean yani it was too much for me but uh, um the conversation was was really i wasn't bringing the what every when i got to a point where i need chance to pata enough reasons nikana shena just the wife because she knows i love kids i mean everyone who knows me they know that we am, I, I, i i have this vibe with kids ko initially had you any conversations to ka naenda conversation about this command i'm thinking about this eh hey, being a parent angalia when i look at my wife even having a doctor is a calling like really you look when what she does i even admire her doing that I, i'm like you're created for this so to got na discuss is because I'm sure calling unajua like calling to ongea issue at time so of course okay if if what we do is our calling kwa maana much of it will go to that yeah. let's say our career then what will fall because I'm okay we we haven't touched on the couple me and her mm-hmm. we haven't touched there is an enormous time that has to be invested you know for us to really stay afloat yeah. otherwise you know things happen yeah, things if you don't invest time you won't get no return mm-hmm. you see so nika tuanza kuongea tukawa casual do you think we 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 manage because now we are like oh, what almost three years living together so we are already observing yeah what is happening with her career and with the us together mm-hmm. like to make things thriving mm-hmm. but tunaona even that time i is not as sufficient as we would want it mm-hmm. to be because I'm okay so imagine adding another responsibility now uh-huh. what what are you going to do it was just that reasoning you know na ani haiko kama we don't want we want ah we we can't have reason pole pole because that means like that means if either of us either one of us has to to forsake something maybe ah, the, the, na calling yake yes okay. uh, then i'd just to make calling. this mm. raising kids they are calling so assessment personal assessment me myself i'm not very for that because i yeah. this is my calling mm. the same for her like okay yeah. boxes guys not take now what about us being together we are always striving to get time mm. together this guy i think i may say the time for these two was still not enough enough or you want if you, you make time as a currency money still was not enough to make our career thrive and our couple thrive now we are like so we're going to add another element are we going to manage that go slow you can't your reasoning then we discuss discussion in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a backyard ko anaza ko let we want to marry to marry nate ko na ka kid makes sense i keep i start talking to other people yeah it makes sense because it's it's logical if i'm going to add another calling <laughs> are we going to have time for all of them <laughs> we realize ideally i think even when you observe that's what she said people may not say it but when you observe their lives you find that you are, you end up forsaking something mm-hmm. if not care for either your couple or your children mm-hmm. one of them will be forsaken the sabu unakuta people will they hardly forsake their careers most of i don't know i see that corona <laughs> so you end up delegating yeah. you might end up delegating if you're not careful so raising kids kumbuka tumeshaongea how important that is is something you have to to be actively like you said involved you coaching is it's not easy so nikambia if you are not ready to 
to forsake our careers because we have realized this is what we are created for. Mm. Then this will help us to make the decision downward. To kaza fanya sa observation how our lives, to kaza kongalia, our day routine, our weekly yeah. routine, our monthly routine. Kwa na, hmm, hapa, hapa, mbora tuna struggle mm. to get that time we want, to spend time together and all that. Now, adding some other people that really completely dependent on your children yeah, especially the first more time than yes before the first the yeah. first years like the the the, the, the formative years yeah. isle yeah. uje na bidwe of course yeah. maybe wakisha kwa maybe wakisha kwa that also can say they independent one of yes. you like like you are dogo yani yes like, yani hakuna ku escape hakuna ku escape tuko na mm mm Mwana kona eh akaanza ku kona okay this makes sense. Kwa hiyo this how I did I didn't come like you know what? No. We, yeah. No I say let, let, let us brainstorm together. Mm-hmm. Yes. We do that in everything. Yeah. Not only this. Yeah. So the same system we use for other aspects of our lives because when I to me kwa hiyo ni kana ni wasema the more you brainstorm unaanza kuona things they get clearer mm-hmm. and clearer. Yes. <laughs> I, 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 let me say I admire you and your partner <laughs> for having that because mm-hmm. from where I'm standing here it takes a lot of maturity Kwanza. it yeah. takes a lot of maturity Kwanza. because one of the things about what we need to know about find and it's a difficult conversation mm-hmm. now to find a way you can either cause a void or cause a blanket Yes. as a parent na kuelewa kabisa. Moja kweli it's a call. Pili kweli it is a full time job. So maybe maybe I'm lucky the kind of job that I do in a in a nipa hiyo space. Na watu wengine pia maybe kuna watu wengine pia na open space. Au maybe kuna watu wengine wameona kwamba you know what? he is sacrifice some more maybe to nezo to get one yes. if i if i if i push back a little bit for mm-hmm. you and, and this is a push back you know when i come you're not comfortable with your take up if i push back a little bit mm-hmm. don't you think kwamba um, it's more like kwa sababu kuna siku nilikuwa na conversation na mtu akaambia hiyo you know is one thing about you want to take kusema lakini in reality kwa na mtoto is a very selfish thing to do they come what do you mean i come to look think think of it this way mm-hmm. you are creating another human being mm-hmm. duniani, just to make you feel good <laughs> no he had one point he, because most of the time is that we, we are creating to not take another thought or even me as a parent i feel good about it mm-hmm. it's a very selfish thing like in there is that there is that especially any there is that feeling come oh this is my creation this is my kid so it satisfies me Mm-hmm. Like in you don't get to think about the things that you say okay huyu mtu anakuja hapa duniani am i equipped kuna kumlea na na kumlea tu sio kulipa ada tu is kum shape huyu mtu awe a decent human being so kama inabidi awe shape kwa decent human being what are the things that i need to do huyu mtu atinabidi ajifunze kutoka kwangu so how do i conduct myself na ji conduct na vizuri enough huyu mtoto kuja for proudly mimi kusema kwamba huyu mtu akiniiga mimi in all aspects of my life atakuwa mtu mzuri you know there's all those things kwa kaambia you bring a kid in this world just to make you feel good cuz it's a very selfish thing to do and i'm like well i don't mind being selfish in this aspect <laughs> you know that's why i have two of them but but if push to push back a little bit i also think not mm. having and i could be wrong mm. don't you think also deciding not to have kids also is a very selfish thing to do yeah thank you cuz you have brought that up mm-hmm. um it can be selfish in both ways actually mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that is the first one you've, you've already addressed it kwamba really because i in that process i was casually um asking just people are planning to again they're about to get married i ask you guys planning to have kids yes why or oh, people who have kids most of them will tell me ah it's, it's, it's a right thing to do i ah, know so i know this okay they're like kind of three two two popular responses i used to get kwamba is is a norm come back yeah why not why not, why not? Why not? I, yes i am um, it's time it's yeah. time it's like it's like he yes why yeah, it's like yeah it's, it's time like yeah, it's, it's it's a norm everyone is doing it why so not? I, was, i was like is that enough yeah yeah it's a norm if you don't you see how people how are people going to see you mm-hmm. 
Kwa hiyo bado iko kanda superficial. Another response iko ndio hiyo hapo naisema. Kids, oh my gosh, kids they make you feel so nice. They complete like, hey, you. Have, yeah, they make you there's this feeling when you look at them. I'm like, "Oh my gosh, you're making Okay, I don't use this they make you feel good. I mean, is so that it's enough? About me. It's, it's about said, me. Yeah. It's, it's about me. It's about me. Like, oh no, that's not even strong. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> you see? Yes. So it's like we minor the major things and major things we we major the minor things. So I'm like, Mm-mm. this is being selfish. I just say, yeah. if that is only what it is about having kids for you, really, then the other aspect now, the reason your reasons for not having kids, they're the ones that will determine whether you are selfish or not. Because I'm gonna be like, oh. You know, raising a kid to a full adult consumes a lot of money. You see, back when I want to break it down, all of this money, you know, I can, I can, I can do a lot of things with this money. I, I can, I can travel. I can, you see, we can, we can get now. only that aspect. Kwamba si tayi kosa buna na they consume much of what a money. Ah, still now you know what selfish. Like in sasa, I th- I believe it is even more selfish. Kwamba I want to have these kids, so I'm going to make me happy. Then I don't have time to coach them. Super so. Basically, eh? you're abandoning them. You're yes, like, like, okay, you're like, hey, okay maybe I'm busy with my career and Akisha in a thrive. You guys get the money. Ah, uh, you need this naive thing. So now is getting money. They go to nice schools, but no time. I, I said return is really associated with the time that is being invested. Yo, 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 parent. Because kama mungu amekuwa mina akupa wewe. I don't believe you should. Yes, there may be there's some delegation, but you should really be there. Like to me, I feel like I was discussing with some of my friends. I'm like, hey, bro, you're so critical. I'm like, I, I do believe even issue with schooling. Should you even be homeschooling? Like, <laughs> like you're with them. Like, equip yourself how you can do it. Like, you don't go half half. Like you should all be in. all the way yes, in. Like you, I don't, feel like you don't be you halfway. Be I get all it. in and you're there, you see? Mm-hmm. So if I'm bringing them only for to see them making me happy, but I don't really inject, invest in myself my life into these in, into these people it means i don't i'm not caring about their future that's true enough so is in that selfish actually and the more you the more you think about it, it is even scary to me i'm like oh i'm going to bring this person whatever i'm going to become some people uh, she, she's a psycho- psychologist you, you know past has a lot to do with what we are today and our our future mm-hmm. when you listen to people mm-hmm. you look oh my gosh it's actually it has to do with a lot with what can i which word can i use mm-hmm. Inadequate parenting mm. or absent parenting, something like that. No, in a, in a turn people into something else. Because sasa, we mtu anasafa right now. Anaza kuna kini kwa sefo, just anajia into relationships, they don't work. Simply because somebody was Haku not play actively here. Haku play party yake. You know, na kama hiyo, ukiangaya from this channel, now this becomes selfish. It's, it's rather, really, not bringing this child. I could share into this kind of lifestyle and buy people regret. Yeah. Why, why, why? Because your reasons, those neither Zika, Zika, Zika make Zika this be selfish. That's a good time in both ways. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. The, the, you're not for that. As you said, both both can be selfish in their own way. Like in the mm-hmm. sometimes you, in order to be selfless, one needs to be selfish. So, what what that means basically when. It, it, it's okay, it's important. I mean, we're all, we, we, we have our own needs, our own wants. And our internal drives will, mm-hmm. mo- will motivate or will determine our mm-hmm. actions yes. in one way or the other. Mm-hmm. Yeah? So, ni muhimu kuwa selfish. Kujiangalia mwenye introspect. Mina itaji nini? Nataka nini? How do I want my life to look like? Sindiyo. Both, when it comes to kutaka watoto, kujiangalia. Yeah, that selfish part is okay. I really want a child. Great, mm-hmm. perfect. Angalia sasa. Ah, umtoto akiye sasa. Maju kumuya ke kama ibo financially. What are the responsibilities? Whatever. All of that is is a selfish process. Mm-hmm. There is the do I want one or do I not? Mm-hmm. The one who says I want, great. And then angalia. Kwa sabu umtoto akiye pale, atakuja ku affect selfishness yako. Because as much as you're like, yeah, I just want a kid to feel good, there are nights you will not be able to go hang out with your boys because mwana wana umwa. Yeah. And whether you like it or not, you will have to be there when Dr. Chakarika Mulendani. Not, not anyone else. Right? So there needs to be that selfish process. Kwamba, okay, yeah, nataka stack. 
from there kuangalia haya it it goes a step further to now explore the reasoning behind the reasoning behind why i want unazipata and then step further kuangalia okay akija sasa huyo it's like future planning basically yeah akija huyo nitakutana na mambo gani huko what responsibilities zitanikuta kwa sababu ya hii decision naifanya which is the same on the other side i don't want a child okay what are my reasonings my timeline i don't think right now my career i'm just growing mm-hmm. you know i want to invest my time and energy humu mm-hmm. my marriage is also young i want to invest time humu sasa hivi hatuna ule muda kwa kumleta sasa na mtu mwingine na kumpa time so all of that is selfish but mwisho wa siku if we actually go through that whole process it is preparing us to be selfless because at the end of the day if i assess nikajikuta okay mimi sasa hivi muda sina and decide i'm not getting a child you're actually being selfish you're saving that child yeah. from not getting quality time quality mm-hmm. involvement of yeah. yours quality coaching yeah kwa sababu ukiangalia mwisho wa siku what makes a, an actual healthy human being sio shule ulompeleka mtoto aenda ist pale na bado anamkuta mdani so the fact that umeenda ist does not mean you're going to be a healthy successful human being a good enough human uko yeah. it doesn't mtu ame hajasoma hata shule pia doesn't mean that atakuwa atakuwa healthy good enough ni involvement wazazi wame invest aina gani ndani ya maisha ya huu mtoto that's right yeah and often times it is which we neglect the physical is important number mm. one cuz hata mm. ukija psychiatry pale we, we first assess your physical needs are basic bottom kule yeah. tunakucheck his investigations and ni kujua mwili fresh mm. then tunaingia kwenye mind yeah. yeah so it's important you meet the basic needs za mtoto the physical needs lakini we often neglect emotional needs mm. and emotional needs directly come from time invested in yes. that child yeah. it is not the school unampeleka sio marafiki watakuwa nao no it is wewe emotional investment unamcoach vipi huyu mtoto kuweza kukabiliana na loss kuweza kukabiliana na rejection kuweza kukabiliana na loneliness kuweza kukabiliana na bullying kuweza kukabiliana furaha yani hizi emotions hizo ndo sasa zita mold huyu mtu akiwa mkubwa anakuwa a healthy human kwa sababu yes. anajua emotions are our primary our primary instincts our drives are emotion like the, based the engine the engine as <laughs> a yes. engine wewe how you agree how you check mafuta ubadilishi oil nini Ah, una tegemea uh, gari litasogea linaenda wapi? Yes, that's a good analogy. That's yeah. a good analogy. Yeah. Um yeah. Dr. Wunyuni, yes. Let's talk about Jamie. Mhm. Na pressure ya VP bado ndoa ijalipa. Ah, uh, <laughs> wema bolini. Eh. Yeah. Wema bolini. Um, yes. mm. Watu wako wa karibu nikizungumza ulikuwa na hiyo conversation wazazi wako. Yes. Kwa sababu zile ya fine. Ama ni sio ya fine. Ambri ya fine. Ulikuwa na hiyo conversation na wazazi na jamii na kuzungumza sababu zile ya fine. And conversation nilikwendaje na walipokeaje haya maamuzi? Yes. Um so in, in that process baada ya kuona kwamba me and my wife we are now sasa on the same page. Yeah. Like and we we kept we visiting this discussion. Are you sure like really akasema hii when you break it down yeah, it really makes sense. Unless I don't know what comes, but this is really makes. Then um, we are Christians. We just yeah. we discuss, but we also pray. We like you know what? We are all created, as I said, with a calling and there's a purpose. So after realizing parenting is so calling, we say, "Oh hey, God, this is what you have. We bring it before you for your endorsement." And we know, like myself, there's this internal peace that is like the indicator. It helps me come by yeah it's like a green light to me like now go ahead it's like i have this i can't explain it but i think everyone they have that uh, internal thing that you know mm, this i got it. so yes we had the all the logical reasons na me and my wife took a kubaliana lakini kwa sababu okay let us also so we took time uh, inquiring to the higher from the higher power from god if this is what we want to do and we are on the same page mm-hmm. from there now what we kwanza ibidi tuongee na parents because of course yeah. all this time it was almost of course this the conversation happened like this year mm-hmm. early this year so it was almost four years so the, we say you know what we, we they need to know at least when it, when he, he, when with regards to this issue some university stuff 
Ifa mungu ni nzima sio ambi, because the family thing here. Lakini Mm. What's up? They, they kept mama, especially mama. Hey, they kept mama. Mm. My mama is 107 this year. I can say, I'm not dying because I'm waiting, waiting. for you. Ah, you see? Every time I go home, it's the same song. Kayo, so I had to travel because they're not in Tanzania. Well, so Kayenda, I had a week, a wonderful week with them. Then the last day, I couldn't disclose this on them. The <laughs> <first day. laughs> go talk about them yeah. your body. Yes, of course, I expect it to, to be kind of and stuff. Like in Masi, now the reaction you can imagine, it was a shock. Mm. Like, I expected that, but of course it was beyond what I expected. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very, it's a very, it's a very, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's uh, a very <laughs> difficult thing to tell a parent. Yes, I know. Well, I'm glad my parents are really kind of open-minded because we are scattered all over the place, all over the world. Yeah, yeah. I never expected. I thought, ah, okay, it's, no. Mm. They, they parental instinct. Mm. I was like, oh my gosh. I, I, at some point, I felt. You, you as a as a, as, a, as a child, come you feel like you've betrayed them, kind of. Mm. But because we had really taken time and we had solid reasons for this, now we are on the same page. Me and my partner yeah. go. I was like, time will 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 I don't know, will heal or will help my mind. Yes, Kayo, it wasn't. You understand? I don't explain the. The yeah, situation, but it, was, but it, was, it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't an easy it, conversation. It wasn't an easy, it wasn't at all. I really had to think. You know, see, I would call, 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 which was strange, of course, you know, when you disappoint a parent, there's this feeling, you feel inside, you come back. It was there, but it was, I mean, because the reasons overcame those emotions. The reasons for not, our reasons were very strong in Ewekwamba. Mm. I felt, I didn't feel good for will for my parents, but I knew, according to what you've explained to them, with the time. Whatever. And will, that's what happened. Over time, slowly, and now... I, I, we, I, I, from how we, fantastic, because I'm, I'm glad my parents are really open-minded. So they, then they really know me. My, my mom, like me and my mom, we've been like this, but this, oh, ever since I was young. Go on and love is all, and when I, we came to that, initially it was tough, I know it will, you know acceptance when a denial phase. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll go through that. Some of us, we started with this denial. No, 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 ah, no, 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 so I'm really glad and thankful to God that uh, of course my, my siblings are on a shit and when you we are hey as long as you guys are prayed and you go ahead. Yeah. yeah so my my parents okay, we we cool. So with friends now as you say, of course uh, now yeah, I share, I share with Ben. Ah, hey, bro, what's up? <laughs> so, <laughs> now so, now your reaction of course some yeah. is something which is not cultural. Yeah. Or you, but the more now you you break it down, Sasa. Down can be so ah, no, we never peel layers. Well, ah, okay, I can, yeah, this, this makes sense. Koyo, mm. yeah, koyo, at the end of the day, I can, we believe what our decision, of course, it's our decision. Of course, koyo, we, we, even the reason why when you, you, when he, of course, Ben brought this idea, yeah. the searches already introduced me to you, yeah. then he, he mentioned about this, say, I'm more than glad to share this because yeah. probably. Probably it could be of help to somebody. Yeah. After you and Ben and Pang, because the point is not having kids. The point is to go through the, the process. process. Think about it. Think yeah. about it. Because it's yes. a big responsibility. Yes, yes. that's the thing. That yeah. aspect. Yeah. 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 Yes. You know, you can't yeah. just bring something into the world. Yes. Yes. You haven't yeah. thought through it. Yes. Yeah. Kuna ile watu wanasema kila mtoto anakuja na risk yake. Ah. Oh, Mungu <laughs> makes things happen. Lakini mwisho wa siku Mungu anasema jisaidie na mimi kusaidia. Like I mean you have to help yourself. You need to put in the work yeah. for God to help as well. Yeah. But and part of that putting the work ni kuja assess kwamba je, sasa hivi niko tayari au siko tayari? Je, timeline, you know. Yeah, na kitu kingine sorry. Kingia kitu kingine pia it's not about having or not having. Kuna kitu Nadia amesema uh timing. Like in peer, even it can help to know maybe how many if you want to have kids, like how yes. many really can I afford? Because yes. also also decision of the number also I think mm-hmm. is also it, it's also important. 
inakusaidia kwenye each stage of decision making mm-hmm. at least you are informed you have the plan kabisa before you hey. jump you jump into the into, you dive into the water her side of the family yes how was it her side of the family as well okay luckily Did, enough yeah. for it was very easy wow. yeah like for <laughs> I think maybe kwa many factors ambazo zili zili pungusia pressure kutoka kwenye wa co families members so now wali they say okay you of course they they so come wali okay okay fine fine no 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 like in they kind of respect each other's decisions yeah, all the way from marriage any kuna hiyo element unless kama so they also uh, uh the christians the believers kwa kuna hiyo element kwamba you guys as long as you really um, analyze this salary na meomba mm. and you because me at the end of the day if you too yani yeah, mkiwa kwenye the same pay same boat they they are they are how can i say can i say they okay then they are it was interesting they are supportive yeah they are i can say they are supportive mm. yeah how to push back sana yeah how to push back sana so say okay yeah so from there it kind of that discussion it really it's no longer there do you right. think that the the little moment of where you'll change your mind about it or you figure like this is something about your you've decided for the rest of your life koba this is it it's there's no going back to mesha mua or you think there's a chance in the future you'll change your mind about this brother um then there's no going back <laughs> No. This is science like, still yeah, delivered yeah, from back. This is it. This, this is, is it. it. Yes, this is it. Because I whatever the reason the why behind this it was be there for the rest of my life. So this is it. This is it. I I I I I I, I applaud you for 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 yeah. the thinking but also kuweza kuwa strong enough ku kusimamia maamuzi ambayo wafanye. It's not an easy thing. It's not an easy thing. Yeah, and uh, true. It is not an easy thing kabisa na end the podcast yetu inaitwa men 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 kwa sababu tunazungumza na wanaume na mambo ya wanaume na yapitia so in one moment uh, 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 when we speak about i mean for most part like ni kusema mwanzo kwamba wengi tunaelewa tukidhania tukijua kwamba even mean when i got married baada ya kufunga ndoa kwanza ile kwamba lini ndio inajibu na nini of course if you see if you made a decision kwamba got to take a little bit of time kwamba um let's just leave a little and then mm. baadaye tutapata mtoto mm. so i think it took us about mm, kama 2 years or more or year and a half or something mm. to get to get a kid after mm. you know but even that the question was lini tutakuna watoto na vitu kama hivyo so i understand the pressure ambayo inakuja lakini vile vile one of the reasons ambayo nilipenda conversation ya leo ni kwamba mm. i hope it enda kuwasaidia na mwingine so if a person is actually listening mm. the issue is not about having kids the issue is about the thought process before exactly. having kids yeah so yes. i'm trying to just give you a sense i'm going to just give you a point but i don't want to <laughs> yes you yeah. have you have the reasons <laughs> your pop reasons yeah you 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 you, you <laughs> yes. really, really really need to have proper reasons na kuza kufikiria hicho kitu so which brings me back to my my next i don't know if it's a question or statement or about your dream as I'm can say here you talk about the importance of being uh, the thought the thought process somewhere and be to find it before kupata watoto mm. and we understand for a fact kwamba maybe when you went to at fikiri hayo yote about nafikiria kwa sababu condition is not tuambia kwamba you're married you're going to have kids or sanjini hata kama hujafunga ndoa so I'm thinking ni kwamba je can you unaweza kupata mtoto na vitu kama hivyo my question is oh uh, do you think wanaume wengi wa Tanzania. I know that you talked about it a little bit mwanzo. Na unasema so maybe atujafikiri, maybe hatufikiri, kwa you can pick the the signs. Lakini do you think kuna wa Tanzania ambao they are struggling with the decision ya kusema nataka kuwa ba, sitaki kuwa baba, lakini jamii haitanielewa. Do you meet people ambao wanakuambia kama Dr. Mjio anakuambia ah this is what I wanted to do lakini jamii ilishindwa kunielewa. Have you met such people kizungumza nao? Yeah because uh, kama nilivyo kwambia we have really gotten uh, deep kwenye issue 
this this year and some bad I could disclose to parent someone from that kwanza kwenda na yes so i am i'm having some conversations but i'm yet to um to get yes yeah conversations nyingi sana but the the plan in the future i want to make them cuz that time mwenyewe bado iko inakuwa huko hadi yani kukuileta kwenye 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 discussions lakini um slowly i'm i'm bringing it up kwa hiyo i i do hope kwa sababu our desires na reasoning you can't be the only one think i remember i do believe kuna kuna watu na ukiangalia kama unasema anasema Nadia ukiangalia ukiangalia maisha yao kila siku unaona kama mm, these people i think what what they are is enough you can see that lakini like, you know, of course this issue you don't na unapoongea na watu unaoangalia reasons zao some is scary reason unaona mm, is this really person does this person know the job description of, of a parent umeona kwa sababu na issue social pressure kuna vitu vingi mambo ya instagram nini you see you see new mom with dad in town kuna vitu vingi flani new mom with dad in town tu pale hadi unaona ah ah yeah superficial yeah na mimi nisaidia hata kwenye career yangu every time when i deliver baby i talk to the parents i always touch kwenye these elements kama unajua unajua jukumu lao ulonalo hapa mungu amekuamini wewe kwa usichukulie lightly. Yaani so, fanya hivyo yeah. tunaofanya lakini hiyo kwamba huyu yuko hapa. Yaani miaka 20 ijayo maisha yake yako mwako. Kwa hiyo I just bring that up kwamba at least ajue ah what I can do. Kwa hiyo uki ukiangalia lifestyle tunazoishi sasa hivi most of us kweli zina somehow they defy this logic thinking. Kwa inabidi mtu hii na it is cuts kwenye kwenye medicine kuna ile ndio informed decision yani kabla sijafanya hii procedure kwa kwa kwa, mm. kwa client wangu au daktari eh, nini mgonjo lazima nimuelezee what mm-hmm. she they suffer from kidu anatakiwa nifanye maybe bit here and there complications ili mwenyewe anikubalie na lazima nisainie kwa kwa eh, yeah. kwamba kwa, kwa na na hiyo hiyo discussion inabidi iwe thara so nimpe vitu vingine unaviacha huko kwa hata hii process inabidi iwe very candid you need to be very honest to yourself yani funga masio kwanza kidogo ya, ya extend ya pressure ya nje we mwenyewe self reflection angalia wewe ka na mwanzao so sometimes the issue inakuwa pia wewe na you may think this way but your partner think the other around kumbuka at the end of the day is is the marriage that has to win not you the, mm-hmm. against them uh uh-huh. uh is totally what inabidi kama mna mnafanya hii process mfanye pamoja na you all have to be on the same page don't force agenda into your spouse that's not that, that's something i'm not advocating for kwa hiyo i i do believe ukiwa na unaenda kumake decision tayari umesha umesha you have adequate information informed decision kwa una adequate information kwa hiyo probably in the future sabo i continue with these conversations i do believe na the way we are heading capitalism and stuff yeah. time is everything na nini kwa watu wataanza kuona the what is what what, what, what the priorities will be priorities mm. the major will be major the minor will be minor cuz mm. sometimes we focus more on the minor tunaacha vitu major after the end of the day ukiongea na watu maybe retrospectively you can see kwamba these people we are not ready for the, for, for whatever even marriage is the same people jump into marriage because it's the norm lakini like I don't be say ah don't I wish I didn't get married. Oh I wish. Koko na ukiangaza retrospective, kumbe hivi watu unge nifikiria before this action, ukana proper information. Well, um, do I really want this? Ndio cha ongea Amazon. Na hiyo do I really want this? Ita itausaidia kwenye hiyo thought processing mpaka mwisho. Ah yeah. I think this. Kwa sababu if you kuna watu kama Amazon ulisema kwamba wanaambia but Mungu alisema sasa ni kuongezeke. Yeah. Yaani there's a lot of things some of me andiko lakini mwisho siku God gave you what? the brains kwani alikupa the brain is to what to sit down and to think sa mungu kuna vitu ambavyo ni general lakini kuna I, I, this is my saying like there are norms that we have that could be there all over the place like even you break it down kama fa, ni kama ni kama funnel shaped yeah. at the end of the day the decisions you're, you're making yeah. yeah you have to swim to your own make up they say to your own shape mm. your heart desires your passion we we are shaped different a shape as uh, it says it is an uh, it is an acronym by one of the pastors pastor Rick Warren like he is talking about the uh, spiritual s stands, stands for spiritual gifts mm-hmm. h heart desires a your what a is what attitude 
Ah, I forgot that. P, your past E experience. So the, that shape of viewers, it could be the same scripture, like in it he applied different to different people according to what God created you to. So the Sabbath I'm wishing sisi to go find a viote to to end up kumba mungu kwa mumba we to kumba each and every night you take. Yeah, um, I wanna um, nataka kuzungumzia. I like what you said because babu kuzungumzia kwenye kama lepo sema sana ni kuna mausiano pia huisha sometimes inatokea. Na tumeona mara nyingi sana kwamba yale mahusiano ya kiisha mara nyingi sana wana wanga na kuaga watoto. Mm-hmm. In, in most mm-hmm. cases tumeona kwamba mahusiano ya kiisha baba na mama wanavutana wanga na kuani watoto mm-hmm. na imenifanya niwaze sana conversation ya leo kwamba je um, kama tukifikiria kwa undani swala la kuwa na watoto mm-hmm. hata inapotokea kwamba mahusiano yetu mimi na wewe yamekwisha lakini kwa sababu tulikuwa tuna sababu za kuleta watoto mm. then swala la kugombania watoto au ugomvi kwa involve watoto mm. haitakuwa ishi itakuwa ni mimi na wewe mm. kwamba mimi na wewe tumeshindwana mm. lakini tuna hawa watoto ambao tumewaleta hapa kwa hiyo bado papa sisi atakulea watoto nitakuwa ibaki pale pale mm. na, na, na and, and that help me out do you think also a lot of time haya mambo yanatokea because also we don't think about that before we how to put it out it could be an element mm. Mm. of it um, what what do you mean as in if we talk about it yeah because um, because we come we don't have this 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 thought process about to be zungumzia hapa so na kwa kata mimi na wewe tumeshindwana then tunakuja kukomoana kwenye watoto it could be a part of it kwa sababu hapo basically ni kuangalia ile what happened that the reason behind ku not working there is to be kama what wanaita conscious and coupling kwa tunajua labda sisi wawili we just no longer work mm-hmm. yeah so easy assets including what to how, how do we manage it how do we deal with it mm-hmm. ndio uh, na i'm sure definitely part of it kama kuna mzazi mmoja ambaye alikuwa eh hey, alikuwa akutaka kuwa na watoto but because to society Obviously unaweza ukakuta okay now I'm free cuz in real talk okay. yeah, kuna wazazi wanasema tumeachana hujaniiwa na watoto ah. wow wow uli ni watoto watoto wako inawezekana perhaps ilikuwa sio nia yake kupata watoto that early maybe alikuwa na malengo yake mengine and kwa sababu ya society mm. tunasikiza pressure za society tunaza But now because the marriage is ending so now actually responsibilities are ongezeka because yeah. now you are now, you are now an individual you are a team you are now on your own yeah matumizi mm. manini yanaongezeka mm. right kama ni household ni now mnazi split yeah kama ni majukumu now mna split ambayo before mnaangalia mimi kipata changu hichi wewe chako hichi basi tuna divide vipi as a team yeah. collaboratively So atam ki separate majukumu actually ukiafikiria yanaongezeka tu an exercise hivi hauna yule support afni for both of you exactly. for both of you yeah. yeah so kama an element of it inatoka from i did not actually make an informed decision to have kids yeah. then unaweza ukajikuta it becomes a, it's like an unconscious neglect of those children whether it is their physical needs mm. or emotional needs yeah So it can definitely be a component. Kwa sababu kama tunaingia kwenye ndoa, tunaingia kwenye kuo ujauzito with informed decision kama wote wale tunataka, tumejiassess tuna uwezo wa kuwa nao sasa hivi wa emotional you know ability, uh, mental ability and time and finances. Then hata tu separate. My decision inabaki pale pale. So now ni ku plan to okay, tuliingia into this wanting this so now we are splitting how are we how are we continuing to raise these children to to grow into healthy happy good enough human beings lakini kama haijatokea kule na kama kule kulikuwa kuna miss i'm not sure then inakuwa that can possibly happen unakuta wazazi wengi wanatelekeza watoto wao like i it's not it's not even a secret unaweza ukakuta labda baba is not no longer involved sasa tumeshaachana imeisha au atatuma tu kidogo but hana ile emotional mm. relationship na watoto 
pia ina wa damage. Unaweza kumpeleka mtoto natumia hiyo IST because I think it's like the top most expensive school here in, in Dar es Salaam. Um, anampeleka pa lakini hana relationship na mtoto. Bado mtoto anaweza akawa mkubwa akaja kumuona Nadia akasema me attachment issues. Babangu yeah. alikuwa hata anipendi you know passive parenting eh? Yeah? Yes. Yeah. You know so it's important kuwa na ile informed decision making because baadaye inaweza ka determine sasa iwe engagement yako na mtoto if ever you, you decide to separate kwa sababu kuna vitu ambavyo huvioni wenye wa team maana wewe ukislaka hapa mwezi wa na pick up yeah. wewe umeshindwa kwa mwezi wa na pick up so yeah. you don't actually see vile the deficit kwa sababu mna mm. feel each others yeah, yeah. gaps yeah. Yeah. that's why you're a team you can't do everything you're a team for a reason mmechaguana mmependana mnaishi pamoja mmeamua mme majukumu in, in your relationship for a reason mm. so now separate vile vile deficit utaviona na utavisikia na utavifeel and they will definitely impact you. Mm-hmm. So it, it Yeah, so I think Nadia may, yeah. may, may elaborate very well kwamba unapo unapokuwa na na hiyo why yako. Mm. Being it with having kids or even before getting into marriage, mm-hmm. it it minimizes the if if it happens kwamba you guys separate the collateral damage. I mean mm. it minimizes that. Kwa sababu nasema wait these are here they depend on us we yes. still need to coach them mm. to become healthy human beings so let us not allow uh, our mess yes mess them up like you know as you say na kwa sasa ndo kama mali pa go yes now you you now you messing them up because sababu it shows kwamba hata wakati mna amko na hata you didn't know why you wanted to have them yeah you going to be your thought process involve everything kwa sababu aspire for the best prepare for the worst yeah. and get ready to be surprised. Yeah. But okay, if all goes well, this is what we want. Mm. Things change. Mm-hmm. Tunafanyaje? No, 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 no. We need to make sure kwamba watoto wetu wanakuwa well equipped. Hali yetu hii isende kawafa, which is also possible. Kwa yeah. ina uh, of course when kids are raised in separate families kuna issues, lakini at least kama mna hiyo why yeah. mna minimize yeah. kwamba no, let's make sure kwamba yani watoto hawa feel hata acha hii element naomba kukumbana mbele ya watoto au nini huyu anasema against yani the partner anaongea kwa watoto against the other partner if it you won't do that someone say what are we planting what are we coaching them to be kwamba kesho naye akiingia kwenye marriage yeah. unaona eh yeah. kwa kwanza ita, ita a, a, a affect even how let's not talk about breakups even how you and your partner live any yani, it will shape a lot of things kabisa ni kwamba mm. because we are coaching a, human beings to become health people we want them to have all health attributes. Kwa hiyo wakiona sisi tunagombana mbele yao au we 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 have sides what are we telling them? Sababu we are coaching them. Kwa hiyo it affect sana hizo how you guys live or even things happen you to minimize the damage that can go towards these kids. Kwa hiyo unaona ina 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 inaenda deeper deeper kabisa than just having kids. Yeah. They observe when I observe no one observe yeah. Ni muhimu kukumbuka kwamba wazazi are the first role models what to do have. So we role model of how a relationship should be role model of how they should be treated by people what they will accept sasa kama kuna ugomvi alafu mm. watoto wana, wana observe au watamu wanasikia anajua inaendelea huko chumbani mm. whether baba just takes it mama anamsema kila siku anamtukana nini mtoto anakuwa anasema this is okay i can accept yeah. watu wanaweza wakanivunjia heshima mm. au mama anakubali abuse or whatever mtoto anakuwa anasema this is a no- this is normal so now you are not raising a healthy human being you are raising yes. a human being ambaye anaweza kuenda akaji yes. aka, not that he exposed but if akawa exposed to these things anakubali yeah. atavikubali kwa sababu wewe wazazi wangu nimeona hivi yeah. yeah so yeah um dr vujuni yes. uh, as you're winding up um if i in love us with this question on the recover come out of it to kwanza kabisa thank you for sharing your story and uh, i agree reasoning zako nimezielewa kabisa nimezielewa kabisa and uh, I think the most the most important aspect for me is the thought process. Yeah. Like think about your why mm-hmm. in terms of um, uh, we, we have cases about some to they are very good at what they do when it comes out. Like they are really really good. Mm-hmm. Top top of the scene. Like ndio kija kwenye swala kuwa mzazi wana struggle. And 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 to not you share a lot of us na ishaku parents kwenye autopilot. And then that's when you say yes. delegation kwamba yeah. 
dada atafanya hivi huyu atafanya hivi and then kama wazazi naisha ku overcompensate muda wetu with material things because najifunza na uko busy sana um, 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 na career yako na mambo yako mengine and you don't have hupata ule muda wa ku wa ku spend na na watoto kuona sema yeah. kwamba i can provide this or i can do this and then tuna tuna miss the most important aspect which is to invest kwa your time kwa sababu yes. that is where the kids wanajifunza zaidi mm. you know so i admire your courage na 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 na, na your thought process but kama mtu amesikiliza episode yetu ya leo hii mm. akaona kote tumezunguka zunguka mm-hmm. if there's one thing you like for them to take from this podcast or from today's episode mm-hmm. what would that be ni kitu gani ambacho nataka watu waelewe vizuri kabisa kutoka kwako i think you've you've already summarized what we're discussing kwa <laughs> kitu ambacho uh, i would love people to take away ni kwamba um let us be very careful with what with the script that is what the society tells us to do let us first be very careful mm-hmm. from I, I, this is this is the rule of thumb so kwa jira hii issue tu lakini in all other aspects of our lives i remember in our, in our counseling one of pastors that tuambia tengenezeni kama your box kwamba let people okay let me say it this way ni kama kwenye mpira timu zikiwa zinacheza kuna 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 washabiki they would want this way piga mpira kule wewe wewe bwana nini you see lakini yule ile mchezaji anaenda <laughs> kumsikiliza the end of the day and a decision and a make when he is there they are there in the in the pitch playing kwa wewe let them talk like mwisho siku i think you've made it very clear kwamba have an informed decision i mean whatever you are about to do sit down go beyond the what the what is what the society is saying but the why is very individualized your why can be different from the other why so have your own why don't copy other people mm. so sit down whatever you want to do i want to have kids i don't want to have kids sit down with your partner go through the process and make sure you you have your why it's very substantial it's tangible kwamba you can sit, sit down and defend why you wanted to do what you do and then on the day the results of that assessment should guide you into your decisions this is what i want to say so it's not as you say about no no i don't have kids then i'll ask you why i want to have kids then i'll ask you why it's, it all revolves around the why life's about the why then that will make us you know we are unique that will make us different in our decisions because Uh, yes so i think that's what i, I can i can say so when we had a conversation <laughs> with ben akasoma the power of knowing your why yes and it's 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 uh, been on and it's obvious so when you that person i think it depends on those finding my purpose and finding your purpose right. he actually said it's very important for you to know your why because yes. then a lot of other decisions zita una unaweza una ukamake a lot of other decisions and sometimes it could be life changing decisions no, yes. as long as you know your why and i think yeah. that is something a lot of us are struggling with because either we don't want to do the work or life is easier without knowing your why because sometimes when you know the why then maisha inaweza kubadilika inaweza it could it could change for the better or for the worse for the better in the sense kwamba wewe mwenyewe unaweza ukajua kwamba now i know your purpose kwa you can stand out or yes. a different human being but for the worst in terms of jamii ya kuzunguka anaweza kusema okay why you acting different eh kwa yes. kwa nini uko tofauti and hapo kuna another element so yeah. it cut you off yeah it's okay after knowing the why and you will sure sure that's what you want to do the second thing is to be courageous because hiyo wengi wanafika kwa kwenye hiyo stage in the back of yeah that's what they do within they end up into where they didn't plan to end up yeah so the second thing you really you need to be courageous take a step as long as you're convinced there are so many people you can make a, a lot of assessment asking that to make sure also your decision is so equal superficial mm-hmm. you equal your grounded na baada hapo be courageous you can you're the only one yeah. why probably you're the only right person probably yeah, probably yes. everybody else is oh, wrong yes. yeah, that's well, why do you think majority are always right majority are not always right mm. so so have that courage wow yes that's important now <laughs> anything you want to add up Uh, I think for those ambao tayari labda say wako wana watoto au wana mtoto it's not too late to actually sit down and reflect on your why yes um 
and ku, kuangalia je usije ukafanya wewe yako kwa boko na kutelekezwa watu I didn't want them anyways <laughs> No cuz you pay na ku inform if I didn't want them anyway then unaangalia okay so najua watoto wanahitaji wana mahitaji mengi zaidi ya tu physical na mimi siko tayari kuwapa cuz hapo ndo inakuja ile delegation je yeah, atakuwa mtoto where will they be better off waka lelewe labda nitani inform shule nitafute shule ambayo they are more emotion focused yes. ambayo ile mtoto atapata yale mahitaji yes. shuleni mimi sina uwezo yes. wa kumpa haya yes. lakini at least najua ile shule ile atapata au instead of huyo mtoto kukaa tu na na na, na, na nani hapa dada wa nyumbani ambaye si nimshamo observe hana ile ni anamwangalia tu physical needs je yeah, would it be better umtoto kama mimi niko kazini bado ni mwache labda kwa wazee wangu ambapo atapata ile connection kwa sababu mimi sina uwezo wa kumpa right so it's never too late yeah. and it's okay to delegate yes yeah uh, ila you need to ina kusaidia the decision making process kwa sababu nimeshafika hapo nimeshafanya hivi na nilikuwa sina nime sitaki au sikutaka au sina ule ule muda au yale mapendeleo kuwa huyu active coach then nitafute kwenye jamii yangu kwenye society yangu my, my, my circle nani anaweza kuwa huyu coach kwa sababu mshawasi kule mtoto anayo hayo mahitaji yes. Mungu aliku alikupa hayo majukumu wewe au aliku entrust huyo mtoto wewe mm-hmm. that doesn't mean that wewe peke yako ndo unaweza kumpa all that the, 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 that that kid needs yes inaweza ikawa amekupa hilo jukumu wewe wewe sasa unaweza ukafanya hiyo decision making okay huyu mtoto anahitaji nini ataipata wapi exactly. and you can do that and yes. that is okay yeah. so usimtelekeza mwanao it's a best step kwa sababu pale unapojua mimi niko hapa na najua okay huyu mtoto anahitaji hivi na mimi siko tayari baada ya kuendelea na ule ujinga unaendelea kumpoteza pale pale chukua hiyo hatua kusema okay kwa sababu mimi siwezi basi unaweza kapata wapi yes where can you get a hey, support you still you are relieved of those responsibilities yeah. lakini Mungu yule aloku in trust yes. umemsaidia ume kufanya decision which is in the best interest ya yule mtoto yeah. Very true. You you want to add up to I don't that's perfect that's perfect. Yeah. You see the third professor so pro- process sorry yeah. will guide you in all yes. areas I'm telling you. Yeah. Now she's I led this of the issue which is also very important. Right. Just don't the game because you know mm. yeah. yeah. So that was well said. Dr. Bujuni, thank <laughs> you. To na to na appreciate sana <laughs> this conversation. So it was a very honest so conversation yeah. and uh, <laughs> thank you for putting yourself out there kwa <laughs> sababu uh, yeah. you might be the first man I've ever put in a kuongea kwa sui issue confidently and I'm nice so I would like to think kwamba inaweza ikaraise conversations zaidi mm, kusiana yes. ili swala kusiana yes. na swala zima la parenting especially kwa intentional na na, na namna yes. ya kuwa ya kuwa mzazi hiyo moja pia tunamshukuru partner wako kwa kurusu kuja kuongea <laughs> mambo yote yeah. kwa sababu is really is you it is you and how you're both putting yourselves up there yeah. na watu na again jamii sio yetu anaweza kaelewa yeah, kuna wengine wanaweza wakasema hadi watu gani na nini na vitu kama hivyo so um, um, expect that or oh, maybe that, that is something that you already know na na umesha kizoea na ulikuwa una expect yani but tunaomba ukamshukuru yeye kwa niaba yetu pia kwa kukurusu kuja kuzungumzia hapa issue openly na mnai. So yeah, that is Dr. Mujo. Of course we'll tag the social media pages come on as well. Once the episode is out. So we we know how that is going to go. You might get a lot of questions. Yeah, now sure. probably we get on as well kufata kwanza kuambia how did you do it and it happens a lot. Yeah. So okay. when that happens, I will I will I will definitely try to put you in touch with those kind of people more about. Wanaweza kawa na 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 wakuja kufanya maongezi na wewe. So especially kama we um and, and this is self interest. Babu podcast yetu ni kuhusu wanao Mm. I would really be really left for men kuanza kuwa na conversation kwa hiyo issue. Now probably when we do our next event, a men let's talk event, it's going to happen guys. So maybe we do that we'll try to bring in more men who can actually talk about parenting now, okay. uh, yeah. intentional parenting yeah. kwa sababu it's it's something about your sister kama wanaume lazima tuzungumze. Yeah. If kama wanaume hatuko involved kwenye maisha ya watoto wetu tuna create disaster kubwa sana. Tuna create disaster kubwa na kwa present sio tu ku provide lakini being there emotionally na not being more than physically you know being there emotionally na kuweza kuwajenga na kuweza kuwajenga zaidi watoto when we do those events please brothers come through especially parents na 
wazazi wa kidigitali wazazi wa social media ambao tunapiga picha new father in town new mom in town let's have those conversations too yeah so yeah thank you for listening remember there's a kutupa na at me in the podcast on twitter and at me in the podcast on instagram and facebook nadia ni mind matters tz on instagram mind matters tz on twitter account yake nadia at me ipo tu kama pambo squeeze she doesn't even tweet anymore Nadia mchoka kabisa Twitter squeeze. There's so much going on. I get it. Nashule na mnyosha. Lakini Mind Matters is on Instagram, Mind Matters is on Twitter and then there's the link kwenye bio yake. Itakupeleka moja kwa moja kwenye website yake and then unaweza uka uka ukawasiliana uka naye zaidi na you know you can book a session if you want to. But these are the kind of things that she's here for kujaribu kuweza kutusaidia kwa unpack na na, na uweze kujitambua yeye mwenyewe na kujua uko wapi. And she said something really really important. It's okay to be different. Yeah. You know, it's completely okay to say but maybe I'm not ready for this. Oh, I didn't think about it. But now baada ya episode maybe nimegundua kwamba sikuwa tayari kwenye hiyo. So seeing her inaweza kukusaidia kuweza kujua kwamba okay, what are the next steps? Mm-hmm. What are the things that I should do now ili huyu ambaye tayari tumeshamleta asi isiwe isiwe hasara huko mbele. Maana ni investment. Kwa yeah. investment unategemea faida na hasara. Ili isiwe hasara huko mbele ikawa faida. Lakini kama upo kwenye hiyo stage bado ni kusema kwamba okay guys mimi sipo huko na sio ninachotaka then how do how do i what is the best way forward so this is why you should actually uh, uh, link up with Nadia na kuanza kuzungumza naye guys we are out tumeongea mengi till next time <laughs> yeah. thank you thank you thank you and enjoy listening to men 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 the podcast men 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 the podcast